One of the things we tried to do with this day is turn it into a, a way for the kids to see that engineering and science impact their art. The Master of Arts in Teaching program has a partnership with the Boston Arts Academy. We've had a pretty good relationship with BAA by putting our interns in the UTTC program and they decided to bring the ninth graders over to Tufts for an experience in engineering and an experience with college. They're working on some skits in which they define the problem through brainstorming, thinking about how they're going to portray that problem in an efficient, optimal way and then they're going to get feedback from the audience. Baby girl, you know how I want you to have an education. I don't want you to lose your education over some job. You have to put your education up. That's the most important thing in a piece bro. I need the money. That's a twill. No, honey, you gotta understand. I picked my job over school and let me tell you it was not the smartest idea. I got a baby on the way. I can't support myself. For the dancers, we realized that a lot of the curves we use in engineering, for example, something along these lines, have a lot of similarities in shape to the way that kids move their bodies when they're dancing. So this right here is the graph of sine, sine x. So when you look at this, think about how you might make your body do this. <laughs> And then we can go like What do you want me to pick for points? This is what we're talking about? So let's take a look at what, what this what this graph looks like when we start to play around with it. <laughs> So this is against time, right? So as time went on, your hands were going up and down and up and down. Scene. Today, we're going to deal with neighborhood stereotypes. It's always coming up on the news that my hood, my neighborhood rocks better. It's always a shooting or something, and they never want to show the positive, and I'm really sick of it. Well, we dealt with several stories about it, and it's a very violent and disturbing neighborhood from what we do. How you know? Do you live there? Have no. you ever been there? Have you ever went to the store there? Just because the exposure wasn't as Somebody big. Somebody gets shot every day. How you know somebody got shot? Because they heard it. You never had this in New York? Okay. okay. Do y'all really think about that? Like, think like that about Rockberry? Mm -hmm. A couple of years ago when I was dumber, that's uh, unfortunate. A suggestion I would give was like, it was, like, it was funny. But it was kind of chaotic too, like sometimes you really didn't hear what the other person was saying. Rehearsals for this were actually much more grounded, much more down to earth. We define the problem, we research, we test, problem the positive, test and evaluate, good. We, or we made a protocol, we made a model of what we thought would work, and we tested and evaluated by bringing it in front of other people. We do a prototype, we test and evaluate, and then what do we do? We redesign. We redesign. So take from that guys, you guys can go as a group and think about how you might try to make that same kind of motion, but Horizontal. All right, so if that group wants to go over and try to see how you might uh, improve or redesign your dance to be, um, that would be great. Oh